Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we've got the big head and big eye light bobble head effect. We're going to start off with our model here and a background photo. As usual, both of these photos will be linked below and hopefully this is where we're going to end up at the end of the tutorial. For those that watch all the way till the end, I'll have a bonus tip or trick for you. So as usual, let's get started. So we've got our model here. The first thing we're going to do is come to our selection brush tool. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I want to select the whole model. So let's select the whole model. Make sure we can get into all the places that we missed. Don't be afraid to resize your brush with your right and left bracket keys. Get that little space there and all these little spaces up here and again around the headset here. Okay and making my brush a little bit smaller again holding option key down to get into these little tight areas here. Okay once we're happy with our selection we can come up here to refine and and on our refined selection, we're going to come down to output and we're just coming down to this one here, new layer and hit apply. And that's going to give us a model without the background. So clicking on the model here, this next little section is purely optional, but I'm just going to use my smudge tool over here with a flow of 40 and a strength of 40. And I'm just going to smooth out the skin and take away the pores on the skin and also a little bit on the hair. And as I said, this is purely optional. So just doing it really lightly on the hair and on the skin so you can do this or you can skip it if you like I'll just speed this up and come back once I've finished at the end you can take your time or as I said you can skip this completely it's not essential Okay, welcome back if you skipped that bit. And here we go, I'm happy with that. So the next thing I'm going to do on this pixel layer here back to my selection brush tool making my brush a bit bigger again. And I just want the selection of the bottom part of the model without the head this time. So we're just making that other selection now. And if you can, take your time around the chin area here. Try to get a really smooth selection. So I'm going to make the picture a little bit bigger and my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm going to try and get a really smooth selection around that chin here. I'm actually holding my option key down now just to go around the chin here. Okay, once you're happy with your selection, we go command C command V to copy that and that should just give us the body here so let's just call that body clicking back on the pixel layer here of the whole model let's hit escape to get rid of those marching ants make our brush a little bit bigger again and now we just want the head so we're just going to grab a selection of just around the head again making my brush smaller to get into these areas here and again we want a nice smooth selection around that chin if we can so here we go again once you're happy with that selection command c and command v and move that up to the top Let's hit escape to get rid of those marching ants. And then on that head layer, we're going to come over here to our move tool. This is where we're going to make the head a little bit bigger. So let's just move the head up. Let's click off this pixel layer at the moment so it doesn't confuse us and move the head as big as you like. I'm going to do it fairly big. Then we're just going to move our head and you'll see we're right in the middle once we've got that green line and then we're just going to come down over the chin here. Okay, still on that head layer you can see we've got a few little scraggly bits and if you're really careful with your erase tool nice small brush zoom in and we can just clean that up a tiny little bit make sure we're clicked on the head layer here and we can just clean those little bits up nice and easy around and we can also just grab our little smudge tool here again 40 and 40 is still okay make our brush a little bit bigger and we can just go around those areas with our smudge brush as well okay there we go let's make that picture a little bit smaller we're going to do the eyes now make the eyes a little bit bigger so make sure you're on the head layer here again we're going to come over here to our freehand selection tool and i first saw this technique on the affinity photo facebook page um, used by Dorothy Miller. So thank you Dorothy for showing us this technique. So with our freehand selection tool we're just going to draw around each eye, make a selection. Definitely make sure you're on the head layer. We're going to go command C and command V and we're going to call this one right eye. Click back on the head layer, hit escape to get rid of the marching ants and let's do the left eye. Draw around the left eye here and again command C, command V and you guessed it, let's rename this layer left eye. 
Okay, hit escape to get rid of the marching ant. So let's start off with the right eye here. Let's come over here to our move tool and let's just resize it. Let's just resize this eye a little bit. Yep, that looks pretty good. Let's do the same on the left eye. And again, move this little tool here and let's get that about the same size, roughly. Okay, so on the right eye, let's drop the opacity so we can see all the way through. And then let's just match up the pupils on the eyes again. Let's match that up. Let's bring the opacity back up to 100. Let's do the same on the right eye. Let's drop that opacity and then let's match them up again. Let's get those pupils back into the right area. Okay, once we're happy with that, bring the opacity all the way back up again. Start on the right eye again. What we're going to do is put a mask on that. On that mask, we'll click on the mask. We'll grab our paintbrush tool. Let's make sure our opacity and flow are at 100 and our hardness at zero. We're going to be painting in black. So we'll make our brush a little bit bigger and then let's just blend that eye back in again. So brush a little bit smaller to get around these areas under here. And we're just blending that eye back in again. There we go. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's do the same on the left eye. Let's add a mask. Let's click on the mask. We're still in black and we've still got our paintbrush. So let's make our brush a little bit bigger. And again, let's blend that eye back in again and the brush a little bit smaller as we go around these areas here. Just blending that eye back in again. There we go, looking pretty good. Okay, the next thing we can do now is bring in our background. So let's come over here to our background. Let's go Command C, back over to our picture and Command V. Let's grab our Move tool. And the first thing I'm gonna do is come up here to Arrange and I'm gonna go Flip Vertical just to make it look a little bit different. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down. I'm gonna grab our background and I'm gonna put it underneath the body layer here. So let's drag that all the way down right underneath. There you go, everybody. That's my tutorial on the bobble head and big eye effect in Affinity Photo. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial this week. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And for everybody that's made it all the way to the end of the video, I'm just going to show you one more little tip or trick in Affinity Photo and I'm going to recolor the eyes and the lips but I'm going to do it really quite quickly and I'm going to use the rectangle tool over here. So I'm just going to grab my rectangle. I'm just going to draw a square over the eyes. Come up here to the color and I'm going to do green eyes. So I'm going to change that rectangle to green and on that rectangle I'm going to put a mask and on that mask I'm going to click on the mask and I'm going to invert it with a command I. Invert the mask. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to get my colors back. I'm going to come over here to my brush. I'm going to drop the opacity and the flow to 50. I'm just going to make the picture a little bit bigger so we can see the eyes here. Painting in white and you can see now that I've got the green from behind that rectangle. I'm just going to paint the eyes green here really quickly and the same for this one as well. Paint that green in. Let's make that smaller and on this rectangle layer here. I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay and then I'm going to drop the opacity here to about 50% as well. So there we go. Click on here and there we've got the eyes changed to green. So let's do it again with another rectangle. Let's come over here to the lips. Let's change the color to a really nice bright red. Again, let's put a mask on that. Let's click on the mask and command I to invert. Again, let's come over to our paintbrush tool. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to get my colors back to black and white. I'm going to zoom into the lips here and then I'm just going to paint that red on the lips. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again, collapse that, click on that layer, let's change it to overlay, and then again, let's drop that all the way down to 50%. There we go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed those two little tips and tricks at the end. Until next time, I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.